Hello, Joshua Bell, and this is the Fallen Angels Guide. So to start off, we're going to ask, what are Fallen Angels? So if we go to our food source, Fallen Angels, as you can see, are very important in helping increase the stats of your food souls. So for example, if we remove this one, my pecking duck has a base um, attack speed of 11k, and that's good, but if we add an attack speed Fallen Angels to it, um, obviously you can see the soul power go up, but it now has 28 um, K attack speed. So these Fallen Angels are very essential to increasing your stats and increasing your damage, healing, and your crowd control. How do we get these Fallen Angels? Well, first of all, you need to understand that Fallen Angels come from these embryos, um, and these embryos all have a chance of becoming um, one of these Fallen Angels. So how do you get these embryos? We are going to go to Catacombs is our main source of embryos. You can complete stages and they will give you embryos here. Um, and if you do more requirements per level, you will get more embryos um, and of higher types. So let's just abandon for now. Um, the main way you're going to do this is by using your two sweep attempts to sweep your catacombs up to a certain level, usually 15 below of your max, and you will get these embryos as um, rewards. Um, the different borders just mean that their um, purification time is lowered. Now that you have these embryos, how do you know which ones to build? So there are two ways of getting fallen angels from embryos. Number one, you can purify them and use waters. Um, or number two, you can awaken them, which is faster, but less efficient. So what I mean by that is when you purify, you get a 100% return rate. So every embryo you purify, you'll get one fallen angel from that embryo, whether it's blue, white, or purple. However, if you awaken them, for example here, then you will be immediately rewarded with a fallen angel um, but your return rate is only based on how much your success rate is. So for example, if you were to awaken these A embryos, you would still have a 15% chance of getting a Spectra, 85 for a Spectre, but you would only get 10% of, maybe even less than 10% of how many Fallen Angels you would get. You always want to purify these grade A embryos, and um, for the these Yukimochi and Tsuchigomo, you kind of want to go for these grade Bs, but mostly the grade As. The reason for this is because these grade As have the highest chance of getting these purple fallen angels. There are four types of fallen angels. You have your white fallen angels, your blue fallen angels, and your purple fallen angels. And in between these purple fallen angels, you also have these super special, super rare, and rare enhanced fallen angels. Um, those are constituted by Tsuchigomo and Yukimochi enhanced. So the white FAs, these white FAs are going to be, let me go to bound to them, these white FAs are going to be your weakest ones. They're mostly used for fodder for upgrading your purple FAs. Um, same thing goes for these blue ones. They're slightly better, but still a lot worse off than these purple FAs. And these purple FAs have two types. They either have the regular, in, uh, regular enhanced or these rare enhanced, which are the Tsuchigomo and Ukimochi enhanced that we're talking about. So with these, you always want to go for um, these purple FAs. Always build only purple FAs. Um, but as for what you build them for, those are different. For your enhanced, your regular enhanced, that means your regular purple FAs, you want to go for Braves. You want to go for Braves, you want to go for Cautious, and um, anything else. Maybe you even want to go for Perseverance, but those are really rare. Um, cases where you want to go for them. It's mostly going to be brave and cautious. Um, and then for the rare enhanced, these super rare ones, you want to go for the resolute ones because these rare enhanced specialties are their attack speed um, versus the in regular enhanced, which specialties are just the brave and cautious, um, determining on what their preferred food soul is. But I'll get more to that later. So those are the Fallen Angels you want to build. The second thing you want to note when bu building your Fallen Angels is their nature. So when you purify these Fallen Angels, and when you get your Fallen Angels, um, let's just awaken some of these. So for example here, um, you can see that I have a purple Thunderuda. So um, I was from Awakening, and if we go there, we have... Thunderudas? Great. 
we have these different natures. You can see the nature is placed up um, below the name. And here we have a brave fallen angel. And what does that mean? That the brave fallen angel's attack power will be 50% more than a non-brave. So usually how this accounts to your fallen angels is um, their nature will decide which stats you want to build for your fallen angels. For example, this Tsujikumo is resolute, and so that means their attack speed is 50% increased. So why would I waste um, stat lines for anything that's not attack speed? So that's why I would choose to always do attack speed with resolute fallen angels. And the same thing for this brave. This brave is attack speed increased 50%, and so I would always, I mean attack power, my bad, increased 50%, and so I would always choose to build attack lines on them. The only exceptions is when you're using your fallen angels for certain food souls that don't have high ascension. So for example, my turkey only has two stars, and so its HP is very low. So what I would do is I would still choose a brave fallen angel and focus on the attack, but I would leave maybe one maybe two lines of HP, depending on how much I need their, them to survive um, in order to help them um, be useful. For example, my Tricky would be a lot more powerful if it had full lines of HP um, attack, however, it wouldn't survive as long. So that's why I would sacrifice one stat line um, for survivability, but still focusing on attack because this is a brave fallen angel. So yeah, that's what I do. Resolute, again, on attack speed, cautious is HP. So these are really good for your tanks. Um, you always want to go for the preferable ones. So for example, since my Yuki Mochi's favorite food, you know, you can't see it, but it says steak there. Um, so that would do this, and then that would give even more of a boost to my HP, but I'll get more to that later. Anyway, Cautious, HP, Brave, Attack, and Resolute is Attack Speed. Those are the three ones you want to mainly focus on. Also, these resolute ones, you only want to build resolute Tsuchigumo and Yukimochi enhanced. As I said before, these rare enhanced fallen angels specialty are the attack speed versus these regular enhanced specialties, which are the brave and the cautious. Now there's a third aspect in determining which fallen angels to build. I know this is a lot, but it's really gonna help you. That is the preferability of your food soul. So actually the better way of showing it would be go here. So if you click on these fallen angels and you click on them, you can see that they have certain favorite food souls. Um, certain food souls do better with them. So what that means is, um, for example, this queen conch, one of its favorite food souls is this bamboo rice right here in the, uh, right here. I, I'll highlight it, but its favorite food soul is the bamboo rice. And so what would that mean? And so what would that and so that would mean that this bamboo rice um, has a special attribute for this queen conch. Um, so let's remove it and let's see. So for example, right now it has 31k. These are its stats. Um, but see how there's a red star near it. So that means it's preferred. Um, if we just gave it a regular um, fallen angel, for example, let's say this um, Orochi. Let's give it this. Um, it only has 288 per attack speed line, uh, attack line, um, and its attack only goes to 29k, uh, 2900. So that's okay, but that's not the best that we can get. The best is here. What this does, uh, this special um, preferability, means that your queen conch will have an additional stat boost um, to it. So right now, since it's highlighted, it only has 288. But once we click off, it is preferred and so it will become 345 and so now although the attack is a little lower but we still have a lot of defense we have a lot more defense now than we did before because I want my brown race to have the most defense because um, it's a semi tank for my team but anyway you can see that the special one gives it an additional stat boost and that's really helpful and so those are the three things depending on what your team is you want to give them um, corresponding preferred FAs, except for Resolute, because sometimes the special ones don't really help. For example, this Orochi. So um, let's say I had an Orochi attack speed. It's still preferred and it still gets the boost, but it only has 17k attack speed, which is okay, but not as good as I would like. So you always want to go for these Tsuchigomos, because they give out the most attack speed, these um, rare enhanced FAs. So that's how you determine which ones to use. Again, Tsuchigumo 
again, Yuki Emoji Enhanced, these are your attack speed FAs. Um, and I'll go more into the use of which food souls to go with which fallen angels in my food soul guide. Um, but basically, that's where the sword is focusing on the fallen angels right now. Anyway, so here's here, my tricky, um, it's preferred would be a leaf ocean queen but i don't have them as many as i do as i like um so i just go for yugi mochi it gives you enough hp and it gives a good enough attack boost and i'm good with that um again here preferred if for these rate stats you will see like 0.5 or like a decimal point stat and that's just saying that you know when it raises up it raises up like 10 percent boost um 20 if evolved anyway so yeah, those are your Fallen Angels, and those how those are how you determine which Fallen Angels to build. It depends on your team, it depends on what you're going for, and it depends on the nature and the quality of the Fallen Angels. So, now we have to go into the Fallen Angel mechanic. When you purify a Fallen Angel, um, you go to your embryos and you select purify. Right now there's no vacant purification pools, but when you do, you're going to press purify and then they will have this time under it. So you can see here, the time is four hours for this one, four hours for grade A, usually one hour for grade B, and then less for grade D and the lower grades. Um, anyway, the higher the grade, the more time it takes, but the better the Fallen Angels. So you always want to purify those. Um, and then Awakening will, again, um, be instantaneous. However, it will have a lower... Uh, lower return rate for your fallen angels. Anyway, what can you do with purification? Well, you can see here on the left, it has a water function. And so what happens if you use the water, then it'll give you these bars. Um, and so every water gives um, a random amount of bars. Let's go here. That one gave us two. And so it says we successfully unlocked um, the first um, area. So what we can do is now we can add one of these capsules or syringes to help um, dictate which nature we want for the fallen angel. So this is an Inugami, which is a normal enhanced. So I want a brave or a cautious nature for this one. So what I do is I'd either take away the meticulous one or the lively one or the staunch or the, uh, not that one, <laughs> the staunch, lively or meticulous one in order to raise the percentage that I would get a brave or a cautious one. Another thing I could do is just use the syringe, which would increase the occurrence rate by 40%. Capsules take away natures. Syringes increase the chance of a certain nature. So I want any going straight uh, brave, let's say. So I would add the magic dish. Um, and then yeah, that'd be great. Um, we use our last water and then you can get these waters from um, exploration. But for this one, let's say I still wanted a brave, but I didn't know what else to add. If you add another brave syringe, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't make it 80% um, and it doesn't stack. So I would not suggest you use another syringe. What I would do, however, is to either add a different type of syringe, which would increase the other one's rate up, or you could take away one of the natures that you don't want. Usually I just go for lively since we don't like those. Okay, there we go. So now we have one nature away and then we have an inc increase of a certain nature. So that would give it the best um, chance of becoming a brave. Another aspect of this is the smelting. So embryos, let me show you. After evolving, they need these evolution stones to um, enhance further. And I'll talk about enhancing and everything. But you will need these evolution stones. And the ways to get these evolution stones is through events, explorations, but mainly your smelting. So if you press go smelt, um, you're going to see these embryos. And grade A embryos have um, five points, um, grade B have three points, and then grade C has two, grade D has one point per embryo. So what this means is that once you get a forge capacity of a hundred spirit par particles or just a hundred points you will get either one to five evolution stones per 100 spirit particles um, so for example if we just filled all of these we get 117 let's go smelt it actually let's take one let's go smelt it da, 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 da. it will do this thing and then it will give you we got three cool 
Um, and so that's what it does. And once you have an excess of embryos and you need to start evolving them and enhancing your FAs, then you can start doing caring about the smelting. But this is a little bit more late game uh, for that. You can use to quick fill or to fill all to stack them. So now that we know how to get your fall angels and how to choose which ones to build, we are going to go into how to train and build your fallen angels, finally. So, there are four main mechanics for each fallen angel. You can either upgrade them, you can enhance them, you can smelt them, or you can evolve them. So let's start one at a time. So, upgrading. Let's go to one that's not level 30 yet. Okay, here. So, for example, this Spectra, level 28, um, enhancement level 1, and I want to upgrade it. So I'm going to press this train button on the top, bottom left and what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade it. Now each fallen angel can be upgraded to a maximum of a level 30 and with each 10 level interval another stat line will be added for a maximum of four stats. So for right now um, we have the first stat which is given to you at level 1, um, a second stat is given you at level like 10, a third stat is given to you at level 20 and the final stat will be given to you at level 30. So, we can just see, choose to upgrade them. Usually, you want to use your fodder, which is um, the white and blue Fallen Angels. So, if you click upgrade, it'll auto-upgrade it for you. Uh, but you can also choose to manually insert your Fallen Angels as well. You just press upgrade and then cool. Um, you can use purple Fallen Angels to upgrade, but you, you don't want to. And that's when we get into enhancement. Uh, but anyway, let's upgrade these to the max. We didn't even have to use up all your blue fallen angels. That's great. Now we're maxed out and we have four stat lines. Beautiful. So the second thing we can do is enhancing. So what this... Oh, <laughs> it's off the screen. Um, but what this does is basically we sacrifice one copy of the fallen angel in order to make its enhance level go up and to increase its stats. So you can see here the attack speed would go up to 434. Um, so with the defense and crit rate and attack speed, you can either choose one copy or a mirror which would serve as a copy, but you generally want to avoid using mirrors for anything that's not Tsujikumo or Yukimoji enhanced. Um, and the reason for that is because those Fallen Angels are particularly rare, so you want to use mirrors only for them. So if we go to use these, um, and then we press enhance, it may fail, but it probably won't for now. You can see the enhancement was successful, and now we have our increased stats. Um, and for each enhancement, you will see the enhance rate go down. Um, and this will continue. Um, and I think the max enhancement is plus 20, but it's it's so impressive that like and it needs so much fodder. Um, it's probably implausible to go for that. But anyway, um, so yeah, each enhancement increases the base stats. Um, and with each following enhancement, it costs more gold until level 10 where you don't need gold and you will instead use your evolution stones that we talked about or um, and the rate will decrease um, substantially. But yeah, there will also be enhancement energy. So what that means is that, let's go here to our Inigami. Oh, we don't have anything in here. Oh, okay, here. So you can see here that instead of gold, we don't need any gold anymore, but we do need these evolution stones. Um, and we need multiple fallen angels now. Um, following so we would collect all four of these um, and you see that when we press enhance we will have this enhancement energy and each failure gives a certain amount of energy what this means is that you have a a guilty enhance so like your enhancement success rate is only 6.2 um, from 11 to 12 um, but the enhancement energy will once it gets to a thousand it'll auto enhance so that's really nice that it has a limit but anyway um, probably really low enhancement field again that's just going to keep on happening until you get to the next one anyway so yeah that's enhancing the next thing i want to talk about was smelting and so let's go back to our brave or even this one yeah our resolute needs some help yeah, let's do this one so anyway you can upgrade it you can enhance it um you can also smelt your skills you can use these reincarcerators these blue um Re spirit reincarcerators or um, spirit reincarnators, um, but everyone calls them Doritos. You can alter their stat lines and values. So, um, basically, these stats for each stat line, you can change it to be whatever stat you want: crit damage, attack, 
defense, HP, crit rate, um, you know, whatever. But usually, as I said before, you want to respect the nature of the food soul, uh, of, of the fallen angel. And so since this one is a resolute, you want to mainly go for these attack speed lines. Um, and so you just go to them and then you press refry, refine. Um, and then you want to have at least a baseline for me is like over 100 Doritos when I start to enhance one thing. Anyway, um, you will get a bunch of different types, but I usually go for like five. And then if I don't get it, then I switch it out and then try again. Um, every time you switch it, the, you know, the rates change and everything. But basically, um, I'll keep going. So stat lines are consistent with the enhancement value, with the enhancement level of the FA. For example, a 1,000 crit damage gold line will never have the chance of becoming a 1,000 attack gold line. Um, so what this means is that all of these values are predetermined and preset um, for certain stats. So for example, you can see that my attack has a gold line of 134, um, but this attack speed is 961. So in logically, if these like mismatched, I would be able to get an attack of 961, um, but that doesn't work. So the attack speed will always be 134, um, depending on what your enhancement level is. Anyway, anything else? Um, the order of quality. So these white, if you can see this white one, these white stats are going to be the worst out of all of them. Um, and then the second worst would be green, and then next is purple, uh, blue, and then purple is pretty good, and then gold would be your best. So these purple lines are okay, um, but if you have the resources to, I would suggest try to reroll these purples for golds. Um, but anyway, I'm going to keep going for attack speed since this um, purple one is okay. Um, so I get into the purple one. Um, that kind of sucks, but I'm okay with it. Anyway, so yeah. So now we are more geared toward a resolute, and I'm fine with that. Uh, yes, take heed to the nature, and then if you want to for the early or mid game for your low enhanced URs, um, you may want to choose to roll for one or two lines of HP, um, just to increase the survivability of your food souls. So yeah, so that's smelting. Um, that'll take the most luck, and eventually you'll be able to get all gold lines um, after a lot of resources. The last Thing you can do to train your fallen angels and then this is it will be done is evolve them so let's try to evolve yeah let's try to evolve you okay so this is the yukimochi enhance so we can choose to use these mirrors so let's try to enhance it okay oh my gosh please work please work this takes like half a million gold each time so we have like it's a lot please work please work please work okay let's get out and try to reset it oh my gosh i'm all, like so low on gold already okay go back go back go back go back here no please work please work please work please work please work uh, i don't think it's gonna work yeah i don't think so no oh, not enough gold okay so that didn't work, but luckily I have an alt, so <laughs> we can go back to the alt and then waste all the gold on that account. Because <laughs> I really, I just have to show you for the sake of this video. Uh, let's go. Uh, do I have anything? Okay. Okay. All right. Let's try. Please work. Please work. It worked. Okay. Great. Okay. So now we have a plus a ten resolute and you can see that it says evolvable so let's train this um, we go to the fourth line which is evolved and then you will see that it requires these evolution stones and then um, the enhanced limit will go from plus 10 to plus 20. Um, basically you can't enhance anymore um, until it's evolved i believe yeah per pet breakthrough limit level reached so you need to evolve these um, and so it'll go from epic to legend and so the special attribute will become 10 to 20 percent um, and so what this means is that if a preferred FA, if a preferred um, food, food soul is linked with this FA now, it'll have a 20% boost rather than a simple 10%. Um, let me see if I can show you that. So we evolve it and now it has a gold, uh, gold border, it's special, 
Um, and then, yeah, let me do that. Great, 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 cool. Cool. Um, let's go back though. Um, let me see if I have a non-advanced, non-evolved. I have this brave Yuki Mochi and I have this brave Yuki Mochi enhanced. So the Yuki Mochi enhanced, because it's a rare enhanced, it will have higher base stats in general. But the Yuki Mochi will have um, good base stats, but it'll have different preferable food souls. So one, for example, one of its preferable food souls is black tea. So let's go and see black tea. Um, just for example, so we go to the black tea. Um, we can see that it is preferred, so it'll have a 346 for its attack line. Um, if we focus on the attack line, for example, here, okay, never mind, let me go back. Come on, Black T. Okay, you're done, cool. Okay, whatever, do that later. But here, Black T. So right now it has 345 because it's a preferred and evolved. Yeah, post evolution it can increase to twenty percent. So let's remove it, and then let's do the regular one. That's not preferred. See, the non-preferred rare enhanced Yuki Mochi enhanced and Tujigumo will only have so high of attack. But if you have a preferred FA for attack, it'll be higher. So this is the reason why you only want your enhanced FAs to be brave or cautious. This is for the preferability. That way it'll have the best stats available. Um, but let's say you were building for attack speed, then you would only go for Yukimochi Enhanced and Tsuchigumo, as those ones do not mind preferability. Um, yeah, as I showed you with my Hacking Duck, um, these ones, I don't think this is the highest attack speed I have. Yeah, this would be better. So um, with my Tsuchigomo, um, do I have a... Not really, I don't have a good example here, but let me go back. Maybe I'll have a good example on my main. Here's a good example. So, you can see that the Orochi is plus 9, and you can see the Yugi Mochi Enhanced is also plus 9. So, they should be at around a good um, standpoint to look at. Let's say I took away this one, and I used the Orochi plus 9. So it is preferred, and you get a total of 1... 0.6k for each stat line. That's great. Um, but let's say we used the one on Sweet Tofu, we would still get 2.5k. So attack speed for rare enhanced will always be higher than the preferred ones. It is only brave and cautious, which would be um, slightly better if it were preferred but not enhanced. Okay? So, of course, if it was enhanced and preferred, it would be crazy, um, which some souls do. Uh, but for this case, it is not. Anyway, so yeah, that is your Fallen Angels guide all throughout. And this is for beginners to late mid-game players to advanced players. These are the rules that you can follow. And if you need um, more guides or more information, I've linked the outline for this video in the description, as well as other food fantasy guides such as the wiki um, and other, you know, just other resources for you guys. Um, I hope this helps, and uh, this is a complete, utter, <laughs> this was a lot, um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and if we actually go back here, we can claim them and see if we got anything special. We got one, so that's cool. So I hope this helps, thank you so much for watching, ciao, ciao.